Now, when you're doing your little Kirchhoff rules, and by the way, you should go watch the 102 lectures about this, because I talk a lot about Kirchhoff and have some conspiracy theories about him. And they also apply to Captain Feather Sword, who I think you guys know, but you got to watch it. It's, it's too long to explain right now. But when you're doing this uh, Kirchhoff analysis of a circuit, you, when you're using the loop rule, you got to get the signs right. We just intuited them, but I bet you would like to have some rules that you can always follow because you're such rule followers. I know you like rules. So let's make some rules. Here we go. Battery. If you have a battery, and it looks like that, because that's what they look like now, and it has an EMF, and it has a positive side, and it has a negative side. Here's the dealio. If the loop, when you're going around, you're thinking about when you when you do Kirchhoff analysis, everything you go you go around different specific ways. You got to define the direction because in a complex circuit, you don't necessarily know which way the current's going. With a battery, it's usually pretty clear, but it can even flow against a battery if there's multiple batteries or something weird going on. So we usually have something we call the loop direction. So say you're looping this way, or you might be looping that way through a battery. So what would the delta V, what would the potential difference be if you loop each of these ways? Well, this one, uh, it's not really so much a rule, it's just, you know, if you loop from minus to plus, then it's plus EMF. If you loop from plus to minus, then it's minus EMF. Okay, so if you loop with the minus to plus direction, it's positive. If you loop against it, it's negative. Okay. Resistor will be a little bit more interesting. So let's look at the resistor. So say we have a resistor here, and we have current flowing this way through the resistor. Okay. And let's say we have the loop with the current. Say we're a little positive test charge, we're moving along, whatever, and we're asking how does the potential change? So if you loop with the current, then what is the potential going to be? It's uh, negative IR. Negative IR. Because we know that this tends to be the positive side, the negative side, the potential always drops with the current flow because it's dissipative. Okay, so you're going from high to low, the difference is final minus initial, low minus high, negative. So when you loop with the current, the voltage drops you right, should be negative. But you can, because often when you set up a complex circuit, you don't actually know which way the current's going to go. So you guess a direction. And maybe you'll be doing some Kirchhoff loop where you loop against the current. Loop against the current. Then what will delta V be? Yes, it will be positive. Because we know the current flows, it flows from high to low. We're looping from low potential to high potential. Differences are final minus initial. High minus low is positive IR. So those are pretty intuitive, but if you like rules, loop with the current, negative IR, loop against current, positive IR, and with a battery, minus to plus is positive EMF, plus to minus negative EMF. Here's your rules.